a pitched battle being fought on the plain as government troops and opposition fighters fire rockets and mortars at each other. We're right on the edge of the mountain and from here we have a panoramic view of the battle that's been raging below. Opposition forces started an offensive here, the aim to try and dislodge a Gaddafi regiment which had been disrupting their flow of fuel, food and ammunition across the border to their mountain strongholds. The battle was at times extremely fierce. Both sides now have considerable firepower, the opposition using new, heavier weaponry they've acquired in the last few weeks. The mountain road down from Nalut to the battle below is a dangerous route at risk of shelling by Gaddafi's forces. In the valley, you feel exposed. There's very little cover. One of the few wooded areas here set alight in the bombardment. There seems to be a little bit of a lull in the fighting and we've come down here for a short time onto the plain. Here the opposition fighters say they are making some advances but they're also taking more casualties because Gaddafi's forces are fighting back with heavy weaponry. The toll was evident at Nalut's hospital where ambulances have been ferrying the wounded. Here so far eight dead, more than 20 injured nearly all of them opposition fighters. We were advancing and we were hit with a grab missile. We are protecting our land, our honor and our wealth. Doctors are relying on emergency generators after Nalut's power was cut during the fighting. In the valley, they're now pressing into service two tanks captured from Gaddafi's forces months ago. We are heading to Baba Zazir with God's will. We are coming in the next few days. We will pull Gaddafi's teeth. Nalut knows this is the town's big battle. All men of fighting age are involved in the effort to remove Gaddafi's army from the valley below. James Bays, Al Jazeera, Nalut.